So I had another really interesting story with a with a tape that we received. So, and this is another one that goes back many, many years. Somebody had sent us a cassette tape to digitize, and they had taken this tape and they they put it in a number ten envelope. You know, just a white envelope. Lick it, lick it shut. Put a stamp on it. And no padding, nothing. And they'd taken that cassette and put it in this envelope and just mailed it to us. And once again, no padding, nothing, just envelope. And here's what's kind of funny about it. By the time it arrived at the studio, it literally looked like it had been run over by a truck. I mean, you open up the envelope and there were just pieces of the casing, the housing, just all over inside that envelope. Well. The thing about cassette tapes is the, the tape itself on the little spools, on the little reels, all you have to do, you can take those out of a tape and put them in another tape and they work just fine. So in that particular case, we, we basically <laughs> blew all the pieces of plastic off the tape, took the two reels, got another housing, put it in, sealed it up, played fine. So, you know, even, even if you don't pack it very well, on this end, it's it's no problem for us to get a tape to play. 